Hi guys, welcome to Club 5, episode number 10. I've tuned the travels around the world in 80 plus cups. We're here for our final three league games of the season. We have a slim outside chance of winning the league. Uh, we basically need to win all three of our final games and hope that Resource Castle and Kitchi don't pick up more than four points each in their final two games or Pegasus picking up five points. Maximum we can get is 24 points. Obviously, they're on 21 at the moment. Uh, we do play Kitchi in the next game and then the team below is in iron brew rangers in the final game of the season but today we play eastern district who we are level on points with but behind because they beat us early in the season pretty much so let's go and get into the game against them now one thing you may notice is we don't have our regular goalkeeper in goal wing he is out with a hernia so we're missing him for four to six weeks now so Yin in goal, Wei and Kolo Yin, Yin at the back, Kin, Kenobi, Yip in midfield. Glenn Beatty gets a start on the right with Riley on the other side and eat him, of course, up top. Four changes from the last match was that 4-0 defeat in the FA Cup, which you saw in yesterday's episode. If you haven't seen that, please do go check that out. Um, and go check out the rest of the series as well, if you want to know how we got here. We're going to point finger at time we expect to see a much better performance today. We might be level on points with these, but I personally think we're the, the better team and we should be the favourites in this game. But they have a throw in here. Intercepted there by Riley. Looks forward for Ibrahim. In space. Beat the keeper and it's a chain shot in the end, straight at the goalkeeper. But yeah, of course, we're in our, our third country now, trying to win the uh, the third title that we need. Of course, we have to do another season at some point here, because we still need to win the FA Cup. Cross comes in, header clay by way, good header, Beatty now. Can he find Riley on that far side? He can indeed. 2-1-2, two two. Riley's into the area, one on one with a keeper, slots he past him, Alex Riley into the bottom corner, gives us the lead after 13 and a half minutes. Alex Riley is one of them players that is uh, nominated this year for Player of the Year as well here in Hong Kong. And I, I know he's our player and we've been watching him all season, but he has been fantastic. So he's certainly someone that I would give it to. I couldn't vote for him because he's our own player, but straight from kickoff, we do have another highlight. Intercepted by Way, BT again now. Try to find Ibrahim, but he's intercepted. Way goes back to the goalkeeper. Riley again on the ball finds Beatty this time, and Beatty. We had one game where it didn't happen. We've hit the woodwork again. That's incredible. Yin to Canobra, back to Yin, cross into the box. I thought we got his head on that then, but it's cleared out. Oh. Bung, intercepted by Riley, Ibrahim, can he find Riley again, he can, it wasn't the greatest ball, it's bounced around and Beatty's going to pick that up, no idea what the defenders are doing, and BT places it under the goalkeeper, gives us a 2-0 lead, no idea what their defenders were doing there at all, and uh, well it's another one now, I am criticising the defenders when we've scored, just sort of, nor did they even made an attempt to get to the ball, Beatty just runs around in a circle, turning circle like a, an aeroplane there, massive, to get through and slots it under the goalkeeper. Can we go on and... I honestly think at the moment from what we've seen, a third goal would, would seal this game for us. Riley on the ball, again making things happen, him and BT. Crossing for Ibrahim, gets his volley to and it's a very good save there by the goalkeeper. It's not even saved apparently, he's hit the post again. Yin to BT, gets past one tackle, pulls it across, Riley gets his head to the ball, gets his 10th goal of the season, beat his second assist to him as well in this game. And well, them two are linking up really well at the moment. If I'd known that all season, then probably should have been starting BT. Good ball in, defender probably jumps a bit too early, Riley gets his head to it. 
goes back across goal and gives us a free goal lead. And we're about to go down to 10 men here. We are. Yip is about to be sent off. Second yellow card. And oof. I honestly, I don't think we change too much. We're going to bring that holding midfielder up into the centre of midfield, but we're not going to change anything now. It looks a bit of a harsh second yellow to me, but we've uh, we've definitely had harsher go against us. Kit with the cross in the Yim Chung kit. It's hit the post, gone all the way across goal, and I don't really know how that wasn't an own goal. We take a look here. It runs across the line. It might have just been in, but that certainly looks like an own goal to me. Let's switch the play camera to behind goal. As we get a free kick, that's headed clear in Colo. Kin finds Riley. Tries to get across him, but it's blocked. Riley again, he's in defenders, tackled, clean tackle though, and they've given the ball away. Riley gets a cross in, Ibrahim gets a boot to it, it's 4-1. That free goal lead has been resumed, restored. And Ibrahim does get his goal in this game and he has deserved it. And no idea what that pass was from Chi, all the defenders ran away from it. Riley in acres of space to cross the ball in, and Ibrahim on the volley, firing past the goalkeeper for his fifth goal of the season. Which, um, I mean, he's only, you know, been here for half the season, so he's had a very good goal scoring run, even though he might not have seemed like it. Hands on hips, happy way things are going. We are going to go make a change, though. Kian is struggling. Fifom is going to come on for him. A camera with a throw in. Yin smashes downfield. Ibrahim gets onto that and dinks it over the goalkeeper. That is a lovely little finish from him. It's 5 1 now, and we're down to 10 men as well, which makes it even better. It was just a long clearance, just puts his foot through it. And Ibrahim brings it down, great touch, and just chips it over the goalkeeper. A filthy finish absolutely filthy and well they're going to look for offside we can't really see it from that angle he was just onside there you can see the red was just a little bit closer than the uh, yellow in the right direction bt now he's having a very good game also fifom the yin ibrahim he's hit the post again Oh, he probably could have had four or five in this game. Corner though. Riley to deliver this. Can't find the Southern District head, but it's cleared out for a throw in now. The BT and Ibrahim both on for hat tricks also. Still got 35 minutes of this game left. Corner for Eastern District. Had a clear, BT flicks it on. Ibrahim gets to that, brings it down. Runs forward past a couple, into the area. And gets his hat trick. It's his seventh goal of the season. A lovely finish that was. Wasn't particularly closed down at all. But still had a lot of work to do, especially from the angle on the finish. The, he, was, he was quite wide. Cuts inside and places it across the goalkeeper in off the post. And it's 6-1. Still with half an hour to go. And we are down to 10 men also. So, I mean, it's been a fantastic performance. from. Uh, who else was we watching for up top? TSW Pegasus was the one that had the game in hand. They're currently 0-0 with Eastern AA having missed a penalty. A camera. 
Yin intercepts, finds Riley, goes back to Ho Yin. Doesn't help that, does it? Because they're both Ho Yin as well. So, BT away. And Colo, Canobra, decent move this is. Some nice little fast movement. They're finally over the top. Ibrahim gets in behind. Can he get four? He can get four. We get seven. Eastern District 1, Southern District 7. With 12 minutes plus stoppage time left. And then Colo just looks over the top. Both defenders don't challenge for it. They sort of leave it for each other. And Ibrahim's like, thank you very much. I am going to have this cake and I'm going to eat it. Slides it into the bottom corner. And this has been incredible. Maybe we should go down to 10 men more often. Ibrahim with a 10.0 rating. Riley 9.2. BT 8.8. .8. And that is full time. And it's 7 1. That is incredible. That's how you bounce back. From a FA Cup thrashing without a doubt. So, I mean, that's only four points off top now. With two games left. That seems a lot more manageable, especially considering we play Kitchy in that next game in 21 days' time, which is going to be the next game of this episode. So, we're going to come back for that in just one moment. So, we're back for this game against Kitchy FC. We're currently top of the league, of course. Um, still with some hopes of winning the league. If we can win this one, we're still in with a chance. Going into that final game, anything other than a win, and we're basically out of the title contention. We have Yin in goal, Suto right back, with Yin at left back, Wei and Yin in the centre of defence, and Kolo, Fifom, Kin in the midfield, BT, Riley, and Ibrahim up front. Them three that had such a great game last time out in that 7 1 victory. Um, we're going to look to them basically to continue the, the run of form that they've been in in that last game. We're going to pump some face, tell them we owe them some revenge or so. We're going to go for it. We've got nothing to lose at all. It's a very tight league at the moment. Hung's throw in. Header clear by Nkolo. Ibrahim gets to that. Holds it up. Looks for Riley, but it's not a great ball. David goes back to the goalkeeper. Pressure coming on him. He smashes it clear. In goes back to Hung and to Chung in the centre of defence. Header on that there and BT now picks it up. And Nkolo looking for Ibrahim. Knocked down to BT and Colo for Riley. Can he keep that in? He can, just about. Pulls it across for Ibrahim and should have scored. He really should have scored that chance there. Massive, massive opportunity for him and for us to go 1 0 ahead very early on. Bifom flicks it backwards to Yin at the edgy area and I don't think he meant that, but it looks like he's chipped the goalkeeper from the edge of the area. We'll probably see better from this angle. Yin to Fifon. Little flick here. The cross to the edge of the area. And the keeper gets a hand to it. But it can't push it over the bar. And it loops into the bottom corner. And we have the lead. Uh, I think we lost both games against Resources Capital. are currently winning. And we have a penalty here. Fifon is going to take it. Is he? He's not going to take it. Ibrahim is going to take it. Steps up and scores. Uh, but yeah, I think we lost both games against Resources Capital this season. It means if they win their game, then we cannot win the league because it goes on results between teams over goal difference. Very good penalty there from Ibrahim. Um, can we see if we... can't see if we hover over it this way. So we need Eastern District to at least hold them to a draw. Riley with the free kick. And we've got another penalty. The book in there. And I'm guessing FIFOM is going to take this. No, Ibrahim is staying on this one. I didn't really see what the penalty was for. I'm guessing handball. He scores again. Goes the same way. Same outcome. 3-0. Two penalties for Ibrahim. His 10th goal of the season. And I, I promise we didn't bribe the referee in, in this game. I mean, we haven't paid him yet anyway, so we will see. Um, now, two penalties, obviously, going to change the game in a big way. Riley now robs his man of the ball into space. He finds Nkolo to Kin. Ibrahim gets his hat-trick. 
looked a slight bit offside to me, but the goal has gone in. It's 4 0. After 25 minutes, Ibrahim has his hat trick. Two of them penalties. It was this ball inside from Colo to Kin. Blind tackle, and he was quite clearly onside, to be fair, from that angle. And a lovely finish for him to steal that hat trick in back to back games as well. There we are. It was it was tight enough for them to consider showing it, mate. Yin finds way. He looks downfield. Even gets his head on that solid in the air. What can BT do now on this side? He skins his man, pulls it across, and Ibrahim is saved onto the crossbar and fired clear. And, I mean, that doesn't go down as us hitting the woodwork. So I suppose that's a positive. And, well, we're coming towards half-time. Eastern District have equalised. So as things stand, Eastern AA are top of the league. Outstretched arms, very happy with the way things are going. See what we can do in this second half. Obviously, we have a very nice advantage now. Polo heads clear. Ibrahim's going to get to that. He holds it up, looks out for Riley. Good touch. The BT knocks down for fee form. It's 5 0. He gets his first goal of the season in the second to last game as well. Great ball from Ibrahim to Riley. Even better ball from Riley to switch it. BT flicks it down. B form hits it, gets a deflection, and beats the keeper. Again, we're looking at potential offside here. He was quite clearly onside. Very harsh on the goalkeeper was the deflection. Ironbury Rangers are currently beating TSW Pegasus as well, puts us up into third. Free kick comes in and Gitchi have one goal back. It's 5 1. Good header in a crowd of people there. Very decent delivery in as well from Eustachia. And uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were basically queuing up to head that ball home there. We were not great defensively. We had plenty of people in position, but no people really doing anything. So a little bit disappointing to concede. Throwing now for Kitchi, and they have a penalty. Way bringing down Chun. Ustachia with the penalty. Goes, it's 5 2. And all of a sudden, a little bit of doubt is starting to creep in. Yin is going to come off Akwe, away for Yin. Um. And Abdul can come on for Ibrahim, Hattrick Hero. He can have some applause. Um, see what Abdul can do. It might give him a little bit of a boost. I, I know that highlight was because I was making changes, but what the hell was that pass? Wah knocks it downfield. We're going to get to that. Yin. Akwe. Abdul flicks it on. Yin to Riley. And Colo, Abdul. BT tries to place one, it just goes wide. Eastern District are winning now, also. Just to be Pegasus, they've got an equalizer. Hong tries to shoot, and Yin pushes that over. He perhaps should have held that, he was straight at him. When he ended up making the save, but he pushes it over anyway. Corner comes in, header clear. BT has a pulled hamstring as the shot goes over. We've got seven minutes left. Um, we're going to take him off the pitch. We're playing with ten men for the final few minutes. And well, it's going to be interesting going into this final game. Ustachia crosses in, header clear. And that was almost an absolute thunderbolt there. It's full time there. We've won 5-2. Very happy with that result. And, uh, well, a lot of goals in the last two games as well. So, 
it's going to be interesting to see what happens in that final game which is what we're going to come back for in just one moment and we're here for the final game and we'll just start looking at the fixture change page before we go into tactical meeting and you can see what the situation is we play at seven police i'm Brew rangers we have to win that much is given we have to win fourth place kitchies plays top of the table eastern aa now if it's a draw and we win we go above eastern aa we have a better head to head if kitchy win we go above kitchy we have a better head to head eastern aa win they won the league simple as so we need a draw or a kitchy win in that one that's fine you win we win then tsw pegasus and resources capital if tsw pegasus win and obviously eastern aa don't win then they win the league Resources Capital win and we win, then Resources Capital win the league because they have a better head to head to us. That game has to be a draw. So, yeah, this is highly unlikely. We're going to go and do what we can, try and get a win out of that game and um, and see what, what could happen. So, I mean, this is the team that the assistant manager wants us to go with, mainly because... Alex Riley is out with an injury. He's pulled knee ligaments. He's out for another week and a bit. So, uh, don't want. ET has a knock, but he's going to come into the team. We've got no goalkeeper on the bench. Uh, he has. Well, it was it pulled hamstring, but we've given him injections. We're going to risk him. It's final game of the season. We need as many good players as we can on the pitch. Wing, Wei, Yin, and Kolo. Yin, Yin, Kenobi, Fifan, BT, Long, and Ibrahim. Absolutely gutted that Riley is missing out. It's a massive, massive blow to us. But, well, let's go and see what we can do, shall we? It's a highly, highly unlikely. Uh, let's go see we owe them after our last game. That normally works. So we, we're keeping a massive eye on what's happening up here as well. So, obviously, we, we need to do our bit. We need to go and get a goal and um, win. Ideally, a comfortable win. It would be very, very nice. We're 20 minutes in, and we've got nothing happening yet here or around the league. We have a throw in now. Yin to Canobra. Back to Yin. Can he get a cross in? He can. Ibrahim gets there, volleys home, and we have a lead. On the final day of the season, and that could be a massive, massive goal. Ibrahim with his 12th goal of the season. Great ball in from Yin, and he did well to get around his man, peeled off the back of him, and gets home with Oli to give us a lead. And honestly, I'm so nervous. Why can't we just have a good first half of the season? Eastern AA are winning in their game. We have a free kick. Long shoots would say he pushed it. Oh, he's not pushed it wide, it's cleared out. I thought it had gone wide, but he bounced back into the uh, the area. We now have a corner. BT to deliver this one. Ibrahim tries to get up there, but it's just taken off his head. And now a counter attack potentially on here. Chun goes back to Ho Hong. He looks forward, Kin in behind, and it's one all. And, well, we're doing it again in a game that we need to win against a team that is worse than us. We're just not performing where we need to. I mean, this is poor defensively. Defender just trying to backpedal instead of spinning, keeping up with his man. And it's, it's one all. And he was clearly onside by quite some distance. Um, not that it matters at the moment because Eastern AA are beating Kitchy. We're going to go into half time, one all. We're throwing a water bottle straight away. We're going to demand more and we're going very attacking. We have been the better team by far. And now we've lost Glenn BT to injury. Potential knee injury. Lung is going to come on for him. Um, but this is just a game where we're missing Riley so much. We need him to um, really take hold of the game and and do something. And we're doing absolutely nothing. 
I don't know what more we can do. PSW Pegasus also winning against Resources Capital. It's not going to happen. I mean, we're not even going to score. It's just been atrocious, really. We've not created anything. The one game we needed the players to turn up in and give us a chance, and they just haven't. It says, as we have a throw in inside our own half. Defom. Canobra. Looks forward. Ibrahim brings it down and scores. It is 2 1. And we have a lead again, just about. Perhaps undeserved. I would say we haven't really created much of um, in the way of good chances. Great ball over the top there. Ibrahim on his chest. Fires one from the edge of the area. Here's W2. Air Pegasus are 2 0 up. So, yeah, we're not going to win the league and it's annoying to have come so close but we have to stop doing this a terrible start to the season relying on the second half form to um to give us a chance uh, obviously we did that in northern ireland we did it in singapore the start to this season was absolutely atrocious and that's what's cost us if we could turn one game into a win then that one draw even into a win then we could have won it. What are we doing here? It should have been two all. And it just sums us up. It really does sum us up. I'm absolutely, I'm like, honestly, I'm thrilled that we've actually managed to challenge for this title given where we were not too long ago as we hit the woodwork again. But it's so heartbreaking to come so close and, and just, Full short in the end. Had a save there by Wing. We're into five additional minutes here. Yin looks downfield. And it's pulled across and missed. What an absolute sitter that was. That is quite possibly the miss of the season right there. Full time Eastern AA are champions. I'm going to tell them it was a let off. It's not quite gone down as well. As I'd hoped, but yeah, that is full time. Eastern AA get a 2 0 win, TSW Pegasus get a 2 0 win also. So they basically stood in our way, and that's a year out for BT with damaged cruciate ligaments. That is absolutely gutting for us. And uh, obviously, that's pissed them off as well. Fantastic. So we're going to be back on Monday for the start of the new season here in Hong Kong. And I don't know how much longer we stay in Hong Kong without winning something before we have to move on and look at something else. If you have enjoyed this, please do hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more Football Manager content. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.